Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the video. The three things you can do to be your veterinarian's best friend or make their day as easy and fun as possible. Number one, always try to be on time or a little bit early. You guys may not know this, but in the veterinary world, literally, we have between 15 and 20 minutes per appointment. And the worst thing in the world, not the worst thing, but definitely up there is when I want to talk to somebody and look at their dog and either address a medical problem or talk, look at a really healthy doggy and give them input about what they're doing really good and what they can improve on. And when my time is shrunken by the someone being a little bit late or tardy, it makes it really hard to do a good job. Now, I can totally just keep pushing appointments back, but then by the end of the day, the last person is being seen like half an hour late and they're super grumpy about me being super late. And it all just kind of just domino effect, domino effect through the entire day. So if you can be on time, be on time. Number two, just be very transparent and open about what you want out of the veterinary exam and out of the veterinary visit. Some people want everything under the sun, others don't. But what I mean by that is, a veterinarian is going to offer all the vaccines, all the different preventive cares, talk about possible surgeries like spays or neuters. And if you don't want something, that's okay. You get to be your doggies, your kitties advocate, and you should be. You know, your veterinarian should educate you on why they want to do something, but if you don't want to do something, you should never feel bad about it, but you should always let your veterinarian know why and also give them a heads up that you don't want to do it, so there's no surprises. Number three, I would write everything down, that way you're really, really organized. This is important, guys, because let's say you want a nail trim, or you want the ears cleaned out. If the veterinary technician borrows your doggy for a heartworm test, they should be doing that at the same time, so they're not going back and forth into the exam room and the treatment area leading to additional stress or anxiety for your doggy, and also adding more time to the visit which could affect your schedule and the veterinarian's schedule. And also we want to make sure we address everything at the exam. So if you have ocular or eye discharge, if you have orthopedic pain, we should be talking about things we may need to be testing or looking at closely and then also addressing them. We come in every day trying to make sure that your doggy, your kitty, your whatever is happier and healthier when you leave. And also, it's really important that I know that you're, you're happier and you're more comfortable with your dog's overall health or your cat's overall health when you leave.